Okay, what we're now going to do, we're going to go through it, not frame by frame, but we're going to go through it pretty damn, like, slowly. And we're going to try and work out what it all means, um, and so on. So, we want to do a full analysis. It's just because you can see above the camera, the all of the servers are off, all of them. NA, JP, EU, they're all gone. And um, so, because we have nothing else to do, but I want to keep it 14 base, they obviously gave us this trailer to fill the void. So, I'm filling the void with it. So, hello everyone. Otherwise, welcome to the stream. Sorry that all the notifications are not enabled on the screen. I didn't have much time to set it up. But hopefully, DeepBot will enable it in the chat. So, okay, let's start. We're going to, like I said, we're going to go through this really, really slowly. And we're going to try and absorb as much information as possible for the uh for the trailer so let's do it i'm gonna pause a lot so where is that so made by nobuo matsu susan calloway singing koji fox did some of the lyrics okay who is banri oda i don't know who that is the curved swords are typical of alamigo Okay, so I think this was in that Balsar's wall, them like charging through like we saw at the end of the story. It doesn't compare to Dragon Song though in, my, in any way, but Dragon Song is godlike revolutions, okay. Yeah, but I mean, I am more excited about this than I was about Heaven's Ward, to be perfectly honest, so. I'll tell you why as I go along. Okay, so obviously this is a memory. This is why it's faded. Um, this is from Balsar's Wall, because you could see... Um, what's his name? You can see Papa Limo in the, in the background. They sing a song of dawn. Yeah, so... Um, guys, this might be considered spoilers if you haven't actually finished the uh, 3.5 story. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah. This is all from the end of 3.5. So that's Elise. So you think it's Ida, but it's not. It's it's actually Ida's sister, Elise, and she's been pretending to be Ida all this time, basically. So, but finally we have a face reveal. We've been waiting for this literally since the Realm Reborn, and if you finished the three point five story, you would have seen her face already. Okay, so obviously. They all travel to this new zone. Maybe it's the new zone, the first place we go in the expansion. Um, possibly. Let me see who's there. So, let's see. Oh, sorry. That's um, that's like Elise, isn't it? Right there. And that's Yashtola. And then that's the Warrior of Light. That's Elise. And that's the... I've forgotten her name. What was her name? The little The little lady? But we know who she is, basically. Like, I think it's Chloe or something. Okay, so this is what we saw in the original Stormblood trailer, this place. Krill. Krill, sorry. That was me thinking Chloe. Shows what I know. So this probably is the first song we get to in the expansion. They're looking at us like, who the hell are you? Why are you here? Like, we're your friends. Okay. And we can see that the Empire is invading, well, you know, this place. They're not really invading. They already control it. Like, and maybe the story of Stormblood is to kick them out and help them reclaim the land. Yep. They're the Imperial soldiers. Okay. Is this the new leader of Garlemald? I can't remember his name. But it probably is. Okay. 
in the video, just so you know, this guy, in case you're wondering who he is, this is supposed to be you, essentially. You're the warrior of light. But they use the, this generic guy as like a, almost like a placeholder of who the warrior of light is. So, hey, oh, sorry, I didn't say hi to a few people. So, hey, Sky, hey, Pulsar, hey, Kane, Joshua, Ursula. Uh, how is everyone today? Welcome, welcome. Anyway, let's carry on. Okay, what's this? Wow. Hello. This arch in this mountain, it looks like it's basically been mega flared or something. Doesn't it? Doesn't it look like... It doesn't look like a meteor hit. Hey, Solstone, how you doing? Um, a meteor would have shattered this rock. This looks like a flippin' laser has gone through it. So, and it reminds me of Flare. Like, think Final Fantasy VII, Bahamut, and, like, Neo Flare or something. Like a giant laser beam. I, I, otherwise, I can't explain this rock formation. Um, okay, carry on. Lover lost. Which lover? Now, I don't think this is Yugiri, to be honest. I think Yugiri has a twin. I mean, I'm just guessing. I don't know. I think Yugiri has a twin sister. And she's high class and evil. If anything... And who's this guy? Maybe... Or, you know, I don't... I, do we actually know who he is? It's not... And she's a Hure. Okay. Are you sure they're not like sisters or something? They look very, very similar. They look too similar. Hey, Rallo. Hey, Kane. Uh, how are you today? Sorry, I haven't been much lately. It's fine. It's fine. Welcome, welcome. It's not. She is the ruler of Doma. Okay. Okay, she's the ruler of Doma. There we go. Isn't he the captain of the guard here? Yeah, but why did he... I can't remember. Why did he make his way to Eorzea? What was he trying to do? He was trying to get Yugiri back, right? But for what purpose? Right. I'm assuming this is still the Warrior of Light. This Sam Actually, I don't know. This might actually be some, some actual character rather than the Warrior of Light because it's a different dude. And we did see him in the Stormblood benchmark trailer. So maybe he's the samurai teacher um, that we will get to interact with at some point soon. So you have Tataru, you have Elise, you have Elise Say, and Mr. Livelu. So I wish they would update Tataru's gear. Like, she's been wearing this gear apparently since 1.0. So she needs a makeover, especially in the sort of, you know, Far Eastern style. Wouldn't you guys agree? It is a warrior of light. Are you sure? Because a second ago, the warrior of light was a monk. This guy, I don't think this is a warrior of light. I think he is an actual character in the expansion. That That's my guess, based on looking at the Stormblood trailer. Let's carry on. Okay, so that's obviously going to be the new main city. Okay, so... Very traditional outfit. Seems very... Is it? I love the architecture. I love the, the Eastern style architecture. Wouldn't you guys agree? Fire in your eyes. Wow. Hello. Do we know what zone this is? Or are we guessing at this point? But whatever this zone is, it looks very, very pretty. Uh, let's see. Should take some screen screen caps of this because it does look really really nice to be honest. And guys, um, so, uh, so, like I said, sorry for it's not showing pop ups and anything, but welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. This is the on the water city. Okay. So this is oh, okay. So basically, this is like an underwater facility, and maybe these reflections show like where the limits of the glass are. Possibly, I'm not sure. Interesting. Fire in your oh, yeah, yeah. You can see the fish right there. The fish are above us. So, yeah, this must be underwater. Okay. <laughs> it's a new Sustasha, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what. What we'll do after this one, we'll go back to the benchmark and we'll reanalyze that to see if we can link the two in any way. 
Okay, that's an A for right. So obviously, this underwater town is a place that we will frequent. It'll be one. It is one of the new zones. Is the underwater town? Okay. Show off. So it can be quite hard to tell sometimes between because they look so similar. And wasn't he? Is it Elise or is it the dude? That's what I wonder. So, but anyway, carry on. Brother or sister? Okay, now she, whoever she is, she seems to be a badass because you can see that her sword skills are way, way superior to everyone she's facing. She barely has to swing her sword to win the fight. Barely. So you, it, they've they've gone out of their way. It is Elise. Okay. They've gone out of their way to show how powerful of a swordsman she is. So you see? So this guy is just starting to swing his weapon and she's already like whoosh, dead. Just like that. It wasn't even effort for her. Okay. I wonder if this, because this is more faded, this screen. I wonder if this is a memory of, like, Al Amigo being betrayed by their own people, and that which led to it falling to the to the Empire. So possibly she is actually an Al Amigan commander who turned on the Al Amigan people, which is why he's trying to attack her. And you see, like she. She has the ability to take out soldiers in one, you know, just <laughs> dead. But she spared him. You know, it's like I said, we are over analyzing, but it's these small details that you, you know, just pay attention to them. You never know. Like basically, she might have shown him a mercy just then. It's like I'm warning you, don't don't test me. So. Okay. So that's... Now, the thing is, because there's also Yida and Elise, we don't know which one's which anymore. It looks like an echo memory, yeah. So this could be Yida for all we know. And um, so she's fighting for, obviously, the Alamegan people. And at least... Um, but... I'm not sure. Do you reckon they'll do that? The constant shift with like Elise looking for her sister? Is this the benchmark video? No, Naxu. This is the music video revolution that came out today. It literally came out today. So we're sort of analyzing at the moment. So is this Yida or is this Elise? It's Elise. Yida is dead. I. They didn't say that she was dead. Because she already said she was dead. Did, are you sure? Because I thought she just said that she was off fighting somewhere. I didn't realize she was actually dead. Okay, whatever. But she is fighting. Okay. Okay, so the leader of Garmod, I'm assuming, is trying to attack someone. And Yashtola is protecting with, obviously, Magic Shield. And because Yashtola is a badass, you'd have died. <laughs> Okay, now maybe he's one of these two, either him or him, is going to be the flipping samurai leader. Maybe it's him. Who knows? Like we have to just wait and see. I like I I want to know now. <laughs> but isn't these sort of rock formations? Would you reckon this is like a floating rock? It's like a hint of floating rock sort of city, like the Grand in World of Warcraft, you know, or whatever. This is a very interesting shape of a of a town for there to be a house on it. Let's see. He's the heir. He's a prince. He is their master. Okay. Let's see. The guy meditating is the Doman Revolution leader. Cool. Let's carry on. Yeah. He's obviously superior. 
because they're kneeling to him. <laughs> now, this is a pretty zone. I just hope, because obviously it's a YouTube video, so the quality is not so great, but I hope that if I play the game on some crazy resolution, upscaling with new graphics card and all the rest of it, that it looks absolutely beautiful, and that it doesn't just look exactly the same as Sears Clouds. Hang on. Okay, so obviously this is the same place, but from a different angle. So I think we were like way back, like down there some, sorry, down here somewhere. So with my finger pointed, down there somewhere. And now we're a bit closer to this house. Okay. Right. Now who is this faction here? Is this one of the beast tribes? Possibly. Probably not. Let's see. No, they, they, these are all raw. Okay. So, but they are definitely their own faction. So I wonder which faction they are. The, the sort of yellowish green, it almost reminds me of Gridania, but I doubt it. It's a tribe of auras. It's a nomad aura. Okay. Okay, carrying on. Okay, I'm assuming that this is the leader of the Nomad or Ra. I like that he's got the Titan Axe, like, right there. Old. Get an upgrade, dude. Maybe she's the daughter or the wife. Okay, now who's this? Is this the same... Oops, sorry. Is this the same faction? Is this the same faction as the the nomads, but these are the females? What do you reckon? One of many nomad tribes, okay. Or is it a different one? Yeah. I wonder. Okay. Now, he was, I believe, the leader of the Alamigo resistance, a little Alamigo, right? So, I think so. I think we've met this guy. And what does that say on the wall? Does anyone know? Does that say death? What does this mean? Liberty or death? Okay, liberty or death. Okay, it's written really weirdly, so I could barely read it. So, okay, carry on. Oh, they're the resistance, so of course they would say something like that. Okay. Who's this, who's this girly? Okay, we'll try and get a better screenshot of her. There we go. Damn it. It fades really quickly. She's pretty, whoever she is, but who is this all Ra? Who's like with us? But yeah. Let me see. Ash, thank you for the host, buddy. Um, let me see. Okay, let's carry on. We'll come back to her. Okay. So you're Geary. I just can't help but notice that her Yugiri look exactly the same. It's not just the hair, it's also the eyes as well. Like, I know that they're different races, but maybe, like, I don't know. Can you do cross-race, give like, giving birth, basically? Maybe they have the same father? And he just, like, with one of them, he, like, maybe, you know, Yugiri has one mother, obviously, an Ra, and then she's got another mother here. Apparently she hates Domans. Yeah, it's possible. So, how are you, Zero? But, like I said, I just can't help but notice that they look like sisters to me. They look like sisters. 
except they're on completely different sides of the world. They're completely different. They're living two completely different lives. Yugiri is more the resistance. She looks like a spoiled brat, and possibly a queen. So, you see, and the Imperials saluting her. And again, it, it does make me feel that for Alamigo to have fallen, I think the story they're sort of setting up is that a few people within the Alamegan um, Empire betrayed the Alamegans. That's what I feel. Hey, Valkyrie. Long time no see. How are you doing, dude? Welcome to the stream, Valkyrie. I love you. And I feel that basically a bunch of, a few of them must have betrayed Alamigo to the Empire for the Empire to take over. So I think, it, I'm just guessing. I, my, it's just my guess, but I think they're related. I think Yugiri and her are, are related. They have some sort of relationship. They, they're too similar for them for them not to be and it's like square enix has developed hundreds and maybe thousands of combinations of hair of you know eyes of colors or whatever so for it to be so similar and for you to show them back to back in the trailer as well there must be a reason for it you know i i, I can't help but feel like there is one okay So what's going on here? <laughs> mean. Now, this looks mean, but for all we know, this could just be like a comedy plot. Doesn't Yuri have horns? Yeah, yeah, Yugiri is a Aura. She's a Hyur. That's why I was saying that maybe they have the same father, but like different mothers. Okay. So, Lise is trying to whoop her ass, but like I said, she is incredibly powerful. She has, obviously, incredibly high martial skills. So... Okay, what's this? Um, oh, oh, there was someone in the background there. crud okay who is this or is that a lamp oh no this is the flipping what's it called this is the samurai the one that's been following us around the whole time maybe it's a warrior of light but it's sort of with the lamp right behind him it's sort of hard to check sometimes okay It's sort of difficult to know what is the modern day and what is a memory of the past. Because I think they're on purpose flicking back and forth to confuse you. So there's uh, Fancred sporting a bit of chin fluff. So, cool. Next. Okay. Yugiri. Mr. Samurai leading a charge. Ah, uh, hello. So that's Roban and his son leading into battle. Does Roban have any hint of restoring his arm? Or is his arm still hidden? It might still be hidden. Well, his stump is still hidden under the uh, his cape. Oh. Who are these two? I wonder. I love the... Is this a new hairstyle? I don't think this hairstyle is in the game. This almost reminds me of Flip and Riku in Final Fantasy X. So, isn't his hairstyle cute? I like that Lise is sporting her. Not only have I revealed my face, but I'm going to reveal my necklace as well. So, yeah. Well, that's about it. The story is getting darker, yeah. But... 
I feel at least though that there's going to be more action this time rather than it being because Heaven's Ward is basically mourning the ending of A Realm Reborn. I think we've had enough mourning, like we need to fight. We had enough of the Empire controlling everything. Okay, what's going on here? So I'm guessing that this is some assault on a big Garlemald base. Maybe we're trying to break in. Be like, knock knock, please leave. Please leave, Master Emperor Man. So Stormblood, pre-order now. So that's it for my analysis of the Stormblood Revolutions trailer.